Hey, a review family, keep it I keep it high. My name is Jay Morse, the review guy, review music for the love of music, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new Tetrarch record entitled Unstable. Oh, sheesh. There was a lot going into this record that I felt like I would have complaints with overall, considering the singles were doing some weird things for me and some good things. And I think this is a band that is worth your time if you're getting into the new metalcore movement. Now, I just said a lot leading into this review made some bold statements and hopefully I can back them up because this is probably one of the most contradicting records and conflicting records in my own head that I have heard this entire year. Equal parts amazing and completely debilitatingly underwhelming. There's a lot about this band that is a cause to be excited about that a lot of people are excited about, not the least of which is the fact that an African-American woman, Diamond Rowe, she absolutely shreds on this record, puts a lot of men to shame in the new metalcore movement, especially like in terms of cranking out some amazing riffs. She does a fantastic job and for representation's sake, I know that a lot of African-American women that are metalheads, considering that I feel like a lot of times uh, African-Americans get sort of stereotyped a lot of times into not being metalheads or looked at as differently or stereotyped, I think this really shows that there can be a lot of really kick-ass black women that are in metal and there are so many more than you might ever think about. But besides that point, listening to this record left me feeling so satisfied and unsatisfied at the same time. It's equal parts Slipknot, it's equal parts Linkin Park and Static X and Korn, but it also has a metalcore edge that feels straight out of say motionless and white, like the motionless and white isms of this record are through the roof. The choruses will hit the soaring highs, similar to a Chester Bennington Linkin Park, but lacking so much of the charisma that made those choruses hit in the first place. These verses that will swap out between these freakish, effect-laden vocals that is similar to a Jonathan Davis of Korn, especially with this ominous skittering instrumentation, sort of almost genty inspired, and then hit these Corey Taylor-esque, really aggressive scream sings. And I think that it is just so on the nose and so damn derivative that it is almost like Greta Van Fleet-esque. Like that may be a harsh statement, but so many of these moments feel straight ripped out of other bands and just repurposed. And if you grew up in the new metal movement and if you were interested in those bands, I think that this is going to hit you as super nostalgic. That's one of the reasons I sort of like this record for odd reasons. I grew up in the 2000s and the 2010s and I was very familiar with the Slipknots, the Lincoln Parks, the Corns, the Static X's, and all of the little bands that have fell by the wayside. I own a lot of material and I enjoy a lot of those bands and look back on them fondly. Some of them are still making some amazing material, like Slipknot. I think Slipknot is a great example of a band that has continued to make fantastic music. And it's hard for me to gauge Tetrarch's talent as a band, considering so much of their material feels like they are just, like I said, repurposing and regurgitating prior ideas. And it's hard for me to feel like like, even though this band has been around for a while and has released one studio-length album prior as well as three EPs, that they have their own identity. I just feel like they don't a lot of times. Josh Ford does a great job of sort of becoming a chameleon is how I would like to equate it to. And similar to Diamond Rose guitar style, very Static X and Slipknot inspired, I literally remember seeing a music video for one of the uh, tracks here, I believe it's I'm Not Right, and she literally had a Slipknot shirt on. I don't think it's too far-fetched or hard to see that this band is coming from a place of love for the genre and this is sort of sparking a lot of people. And it's sort of complete with some cringy and rather cliche lyrics and song topics. I can't really say that a lot of these songs stuck with me from a lyrical component, so what was left was really the songwriting as a whole instrumentally and vocally. And at times that can be semi-strong and other times it can just feel extremely weak and derivative. One thing I have no problem doing commending the band for is I'm not a big fan of the new metalcore movement. I'm not a big fan of how new metal has been revived as a whole. I feel like so many of the bands just lack any of the guts or gusto of the classic bands and I'm sorry if I seem like the type of person that is stuck in the past. If anything, I love evolution and I love change, but holy shit, do some of these popular new metalcore bands need to get their shit together and really figure out how to make a solid record that doesn't just feel like the 
regurgitation of the past. At least Tetrock here is making an effort to really make some catchy songs. And for sure, a lot of the riffs are catchy. They'll hit some grooves, they'll hit some riffs that are extremely good. I love Diamond Rose guitar playing style. She really does feel like she has paid homage massively and has bared the torch of all of the past material that inspired her to begin with. And if it seems like I am not breaking each thing down as I might usually do, it's solely because after listening to this record over and over and over, it sort of begins to blur together like a combination of Motionless and White, Slipknot, and Linkin Park with a little bit of Static X and Corn mixed into the mix. I genuinely feel like if you want comparisons, I can't really give better than that. You have the very high, high choruses, you have the low chugging riffs, you have the metalcore-esque breakdown bits, and you have Josh going all in with the Chester Bennington and all in with the Corey Taylor. I think Tetrarch stands out though and on a sort of one-on-one -on -one personal level with someone that grew up with this material and is very very familiar with where they're taking their inspiration from I get why this is sort of sparking a little bit of an energized feeling in a lot of people that are reinvigorated with the style listening to this for me was sort of giving me whiplash more often than not and really making me sit there like holy shit like this is really reminding me of my childhood this is reminding me of some of my gateway bands and I think that that is a great thing that Tetrarch is doing. For me, I feel like so much of the derivative nature sets me off. This is not a reflection on them reviving the style or how well they're doing it. They're reviving the style fantastically well, kind of too well to some degree, and that's the only reason that I can't really enjoy it to the same degree others are, and I wish I could and I wish I could sit here and say that it's the best record I've heard this year, but for me, it's just sort of middle of the road. I can respect what they are doing, I can commend what they are doing, but this is a very forgettable record that is not really that memorable for me other than what the band is doing. It's not necessarily the songs themselves, it's just the principle. But if you're dissatisfied with the current new metalcore scene and the new metal revival and the bands that I've mentioned are ones that you really enjoy, give it a shot. This might be the type of thing that really strikes gold and I see that Tetrarch is really doing that and I'm not really that surprised. I would just like to see them sort of get their own identity going into the future. That's pretty much my only major complaint with them. It's obvious they got a good head on their shoulders and they're coming from the same era I came from and I respect the hell out of it. But I'm going to be giving this album a 5 out of 10 and that is a wrap. Have you heard this new Tetrock record, Unstable? If you have, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. I would love to discuss this record with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to join the review family today, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy, and I'm signing off saying fair. Play.